Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to part two of this webinar, Act Now, Plan Now, from PrintWeek and HP. During the course of the hour, you'll have several questions on your mind about the topics discussed. Please feel free to share them with us in the questions option on your screen, and I will pick them up and hope to get answers from our panelists at the end of the session. <clears throat> A week ago, Print Week ran a survey online. We asked a simple question, define print, and what does print mean for you? The response was interesting. Let me share the survey findings. 10% said it is ink on paper. This is the traditional view. 15% said it is ink on paper plus other substrates. 40% felt it is design, pre-press, press. There is combination of all processes. And the remaining 35% said, print being intelligently linked with technologies. Which is why the next 60 minutes are important. The next 60 minutes are important for three reasons. One, how to thrive with print, practical advice from HP's experts, Two, digital 22 is the catchphrase, but how does one think sensibly about print in an uncertain world? And three, if print isn't at the center of the universe, what can we do about it? With these preliminary comments, I would like to introduce HP's Ashok Pawa, business manager of commercial HP Indigo India and Sri Lanka, on what could be your next growth engine. Ashok. Ashiram, thank you so much. And uh, let me share my screen. And if you can confirm, if you can see my screen. Yes, Ashok, we can. Okay, great. Once again, thank you, Shiram, and uh, thank you, Print Week, and thank you, each and every one of the participants who is there on the show with us today. Uh, from HP, from Reddington, from all uh, customers of NHP Indigo, we say namaste to you. Good afternoon, Sastriyakal, and Vanakkam. And welcome to this one more exciting episode of Act Now, Plan Now series. In our first episode with Print Week and Smithers Pira, we actually, first time in an Indian environment, we talked about the status and the health of the Indian commercial print industry and what is the transformation that this industry is actually going through. And we picked up one slide from the last presentation, which is offset to digital transformation is 21.6% of the value. Digital is going to be 21.6% of the total offset industry by the value. Yes, this is the takeaway from our previous episode, which was done with Smithers Pira. Now for me as a printer, you know, I always consider myself as a printer because I live with printers, I live you know, inside the print community and always see this as an opportunity of $1.2 billion or a 9,000 crore opportunity, which as a printer, I can then cash. But today I just want to take a, you know, a step back and I want to, I want to really see what really happened. I am a printer for last 30 years, 40 years in the industry. And I was seeing some slow changes, which is happening into this industry from, you know, the offset to digital or from analog to digital. But what really happened in last two years, once the pandemic started, what really changed for me? Then I get an answer. Okay, I am a printer. 
and i'm serving to somebody who is into either into manufacturing or service or technology so i'm an enabler of a sales of a brand today now if i am an enabler of a sales of a brand today i go with what are the changes which is happening with the brand today and let me show you what really happened to the brands today yes e-commerce this is the answer to all the changes which we are seeing in our industry the rapid changes that we are seeing in our industry for last 24 months and if you go by the numbers the whole e-commerce industry it actually took 10 years to reach to a penetration of 10%, yes, 10 years to reach to a penetration of a 10% before pandemic. And during the first eight weeks of a pandemic, it grew by another 10%. Yes, eight weeks to grow by another 10%. And from that onward, it is growing, growing, and only growing. So what does that mean to me? Now, when I see this change, there are three stakeholders in this whole environment. The first and the foremost is a consumer. The second one is a marketer or a brand. And the third one is of course me, you know, a printer or a print service provider. Now, if I'm a consumer today, what is happening within e-commerce is I'm actually going to an e-commerce site or I'm going to online to buy product, almost every product. I am getting habitual to buying each and every product, almost each and every product online. So this is a habit which is actually forming to me. Second thing is, actually, I want every product to be available and online. If they are not there, there is a competition which is available, and I go and see the competition as a consumer. And third, and the you know the biggest change which has come to me as a consumer is, I want it now. One hour Amazon delivery, you know, 19 minutes of you know a, a good uh, a delivery uh, promo which is done done by one of the sites. Now, if this is happening. Imagine the state of the brand today. Imagine the state of the marketer today. So for them, the playing field is entirely changed. You know, they are changing with the changing preferences of their own consumer. But one thing good has happened to them, which is they are getting something which is very valuable, which is the data of their consumer today. Anybody who is actually buying online today, a company actually gets the validated data. And that's the reason the marketer are actually using this data to customize and personalize their communication, which is giving a birth to something which is caused as a mass personalization. Now, in this whole changes of a brand and a consumer, me as a print service provider, me as a printer, what is the role that I need to do? Of course, I need to change with the changing need of my buyer. You know, what are the changing needs? The changing need, of course, you know, the first and the foremost is I have to be, I have to be fast. I have to help the speed to market of that brand. I have to actually handle the short runs. I have to be a data-driven company rather than a printing company. And I have to be agile and I have to be flexible to adopt to all those changes. Wow, so much to handle. Now, if this is the so much to handle, this is my current state of a business today. This is my, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a printer, I'm a traditional offset printer, and this is my current state of a business today. I'm into this red zone today. I'm into a commodity zone. And moreover, you know, my volumes are actually shrinking. So how do I come out of it? So there are two ways we always think you to come out of it. And this is not, you know, only by me. There are a lot of printer friends who actually speak about this. The first and the foremost is to manage my cost. Now, how do I manage my cost is actually eliminate all the vestiges from my shop floor today, which means I have to focus on something which is high productivity or efficiencies. I cannot live with the efficiencies and productivities of my shop floor, which I was doing earlier. So first thing is I eliminate all the vestiges and I increase the productivity. Second, on top of it, once I do that, on top of it, I have to actually add some of the interesting high value application or business into my kitty, which means there is an innovation that has to come to my business. Now, we'll, we'll talk about first and the foremost is how do I eliminate, uh, you know, the wastages? How do I maximize my output and profit with the help of an HP ending into my shop floor today? So we have done a, a brief study at one of the shop floor where, you know, the, the gentleman has four of the, uh, the offset presses, the, uh, the 74 centimeter presses with them. And what we did is we, we completely studied the job basket with them. And what we found, this is a finding in front of you, the efficiencies of an offset today 
right? Because they are printing, you know, a moderate amount of a short runs onto their offset today. The efficiency of an offset today is 1.15 is to one. 46% is the run hours which is available with an offset today. The rest 54% is actually on a make ready and you know other uh, uh, other subjects. Now what we did is we actually took away all the short runs and put it on an indigo. And what we saw is 46% release of a time from an offset place. Yes, 46%. One indigo can actually make two of your offset press free from what they are doing. That too in a very profitable manner. Now, we have a lot of debates going on because I don't have, you know, a lot of jobs with me. What do I do? I don't want to answer this question, but one thing that I can manage or I can tell you at this point of our time is the efficiencies can be increased by putting a digital into the platform. Now, once digital is there, definitely we are looking forward to some high value application to grow my profitability. And we have studied a lot of applications in Indian market. And now with a lot of data, which is there with us, we want to actually showcase two of the new markets to our printer friends today, which they should consider to expand or diversify along with what they are doing today. Now, these two markets that we are going to talk today is plastic card market and the textile and the apparel market. Yes. These two are not the new market to you. Plastic card is, you know, you know this market very well. Textile and apparel also you know very well. But I'll tell you, these are very high value, high profit markets. Now, when we talk about the plastic card market, this is a this is the global data that I'm showing it to you. This is a $35 billion market was 2019, growing at 10.5% CAGR, $75 billion. And the biggest contributor to this market, if you see on the right hand side, Chad is in Asia Pacific. And under Asia Pacific, it is India and China who's actually contributing to a larger amount of the plastic card, which is being manufactured in this industry today. Now, when we speak about a plastic card, we always get this feeling that plastic card is a very, very specialized market. It's a Visa MasterCard market. We need a lot of certification. We need a lot of audits. So as per the understanding of the market today, the only market which is available is a plastic card market. And this plastic card market is also going through a lot of changes over the last three to five years. If you see the, the conventional to digital movement and a transition for last three to five years, definitely digital is growing. But today we are not going to talk about financial card. Let financial card is handled by somebody who is specializing it to it. There are many other plastic card market which is available, which is growing in India. These markets are actually gift cards, government and the health cards. We have excess control cards, retail and gas, loyalties and promo, transportation, IDs and membership. And out of these market, we see the six market, which is currently available, which is lucratively available to us to capture and, and cash those market, which is financial card. Okay, if you're not into it, let's jump on to gift card, health and government cards, retail cards, promos and loyalty cards, and of course, ID and membership card. Now, when we when, when I say, you know, when we talk about plastic card, everybody says that, you know, this is not my cup of tea. This is actually somebody who is very specialized into it, which I want to make a, you know, honest promise here. We know this market very well. We know end to end of this market and we can actually help you to give you an end to end solution if you want to capture to this market, which is a very lucrative market. We have more than 100 HP Indigo presses, which is running on a worldwide specifically and only for the card market. So my humble request is to consider this market as an additional market to what you are doing today. Now, the, this is the first new market that we are going to talk about. Now, the second market, which is a textile and apparel market, which is, which is a part of you know, everybody's daily life. Let me give you some glimpse of you know, how this market is behaving in India. So this is, this is the statistics. This contributes to around 2% of our India GDP. No, it employs 45 million people. Yes, 45 million people. And 12% of our India export is actually contribution from textile and apparel. And it is growing at a decent speed. If you see from 2020 of $150 billion, it is actually moving to close to around 219, 220 in 2026. And India is a good country to be in in this market because India is the second largest producer in the world for textile in the garment. Yes, we are the second largest producer of the textile in the garments in worldwide level. We are the fifth larger exporter of the textile spanning apparels, home and technical product. And the foremost, which is the apparel, the, the ready-made markets that we have, the Indian apparel market, which is 20 
in 2020, which is $40 billion, is expected to grow to $135 billion in 2025. 3.5 times of a growth which is expected in next four to five years. And as I said, we are good to be a part of this country because there are many efforts which is put uh, by Indian government to actually accelerate the growth momentum into this industry, whether it is a national textile policy, you know, there are different kind of investments which is put by the government. But on top of it, the most, the foremost reason for us is we have a lot of raw material which is available, whether it is cotton, silk, jute, and everything, and a labor which is actually needed to convert anything, any yarn to the fabric and to the final product. Now, being a printer, I see this market as an interesting market. This is a value market. This is a high value market. Now, what is the offering that I can actually make to this market? And let me show you some of the applications which we can start immediately. If you are already attached with this market, it's great. If you are not attached to this market, let me show you some of the applications which we can easily jump on. And the first and the foremost is a hang tag. If you go to buy you know, any retail stores today and go and buy a shirt, you will find a hang tag. Now, if you see the hang tag, you'll find a lot many information into it. So all the hang tag market is a very lucrative market for us because it's a very short run market. It is, you know, very color conscious. There are many sizes, language, model, price, everything is there into this market. Plus this tag actually sells the garment to the consumer. So it is very, very embellishment focused market. We need to make hang tag very attractive. So this is, this is a good market to be in today. The second market, which is attached with the hang tag market is the new changing, you know, the, the face of a hang tag, which is an RFID tag. Again, RFID is, you know, very, very specialized market, but I can actually make a, you know, announcement here is that we have an RFID tags in a sheet form, which is available, which you can print on an indigo. And there is a tabletop, uh, you know, the coder, which you can encode all the informations into it. So we can help you to enter into RFID market as well. Transfer market, we know all, uh, all of us, we know this market, you know, whether it's in a promotional side or an industrial side, but I definitely want you to look into this very, very lucrative market. This is a, one of the fastest growing market that we see in India today in the apparel uh, industry. Textile catalog is, is a big market. You know, we know there are pockets in India where, you know, many of the offset presses, they are running on a textile catalogs only, but as the runs are actually getting shorter and shorter, this becomes a, a, a market to look into to cater from, uh, and a, from a conventional to a digital part of the technology. And as I said, you know, apparel is not only the clothing. When you enter into a store, you actually find many other accessories along with the apparels, you know, and these accessories are packaged. So we see a lot of hard case, uh, you know, the boxes which is supplied to the accessories as an accessories to the apparel industry, many things not only in the in the in the apparel industry outside the apparel industry also whether it is wedding whether it is boxes whether it is gifting promotional packaging is becoming the need of the day today now all these applications which i'm talking to you today are actually the standalone businesses now we have to take a conscious call to enter into this market and how far we need to enter into this market. But one thing that we need to know, what are the critical requirements which is required, whether it is for a PVC market or a promotional packaging, is something that we need to produce the right color first time in every time. I cannot play with the colors at all in this market. And that's where actually Indigo comes into play. And we have a first, uh, you know, we are the only Penton licensed technology which is available. Not only to the colors, we actually need to print on a much thicker media, which is, you know, close to around 550 micron, that to on a duplex. This is what an indigo offers to you. Seeing, no, you don't believe me? Yes, I know you, you're not believing me. So what I'm saying is, let's actually see what I'm talking to you. And I hand it over back to Sriram, and let's go to the live actions from Singapore to see what all applications that we have spoken about. Thank you, Sriram. Thank you, Ashok. A lot of India-centric takeaways. Thank you once again. Uh, one additional input I'd like to share. In 2020, after the first lockdown, Print Week conducted a survey. Some interesting talking points. At that time, there were about 10,000 indigos of all types installed worldwide. This means there are lots of indigo users and the indigos are a known quantity. 
There was a clamor from the industry for a device which offered a broader substrate range and wider ink set, including the ability to produce heat transfer images. Plus, of course, seven color with the complexity of being able to run different inks, media, and plastics, etc. And finally, a demand for brand protection, security features, plus the ability to hit spot colors within three minutes and keep the waste factor to under five meters. The point is, as Ashok stated in his presentation, the digital print will play a major role in the transformation of print. But everyone still wants to know how, which is why the next session from the COE Singapore is very, very important. This is what we call the dialectics of old print economy versus new print economy. Stay tuned to understand. How can technology help with the changing semantics? Over and above the pain points and break-even points, how can digital firepower expand the creative options and boost the bottom line? We are joined by Gaurav Chadda, Business Manager Commercial APAC in Japan, Shulsan Shim, Regional Commercial Category Manager HP Indigo APAC in Japan, and Edson Chan, COE Manager. Over to you guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Center of Excellence in Singapore. Uh, today, I'm going to show you the applications in different verticals. First of all, we're going to touch on textile, textile catalogs and textile brochures. Today, we see uh, customers from India or uh, around the world actually use our technology to print on the textile brochure. As you see over here, whether it is A3 printed, but then with some finishing embedded inside, do you see the, the, the glossy effect? Right, this is printed on indigo presses, four colors. And then the other brochures I want to show you is also on how innovative a customers can do on textile brochures. First of all, it's printed, the book is actually in a, a slightly bigger than the A4 size, but it was then printed with the B2 inside sheets, right? And, and folded in, inside like this, a catalog. This is a textile sari catalog that shows beautiful sari textile, right? And the next catalogs I'm going to show you also is uh, coming from fashion. Right, fashion catalogs, which is also showing some of the beautiful colors of the clothing that is printed on indigo, right, on these brochures at that. And beside that, I uh, some of the textile sample swatch book like this woven catalogs, right, that has all the woven thread and actually printed also on, on uh, color matching uh, on, on these catalogs also. So whether this one of them, and of course there's another one samples like this, have a similar effect on that. Uh, beside that, uh, on fashion catalogs, uh, some of them are using tags, right, on fashion. So if I just show you some hand tags over here, this is uh, CK hand tags, fashion hand tags, that is done with our technology, right? And then another one I want to show you is also label tag, right? Not just uh, a simple, to cut out text, but this is label text on it. Um, there's another one I want to show you over here is actually some fashion hang tags, right? That's printed using our technology. The hash. Beside the standard hang tags, what can you do with uh, Indigo? We can also use our ISPC, right? Some FRID connected uh, embedded into the text so that you get uh, cashless. When you move around in the, in, in, in the shop, you actually can track that. For example, if I take this bag, right? And you can see there's a tag here. And whenever a person actually uses his mobile, he wants to make a mobile payment. So what he do is that he, he tag on this, this thing, right? Automatically, it goes to the site, right? And then he can check you can actually check all the information about this bag and how he, he wants to, whether he wants to buy it. If it's like it, he can go online to purchase it. So this is very useful for people on the shop who can track his customers and customers can track whether this is genuine or not. Another one is like a fashion tag, a fashion uh, clothing here. I can put this one on it. And then you see that it goes to a site. 
So moment that we go to a site and they show that this is this this uh this shirt is number four zero four. What what's the quantity of it? Yeah. So it's easily that you can use that. And of course, uh, some of them are using like hand tags like this, fashion tags. One more example to show you on, on, on this example. So let's, let's say this is the tag that you put on. Automatic, you touch the card, you actually get all the information that you want to from this textile clothing. Uh, beside those hand tags that is done on FRID, as I see, uh, labels, right? Labels is definitely an, another application that we can we can do on the press, indigo presses. Uh, beside labels, specialty media, right? Specialty substrates that we can work on for our children's label, textile label that we can print on. Decal, right? Decal, decal applications. And then you can see this is actually security tickets that can go in. And then we have membrane switch right, touch button application, electronic panels where you can customize your product. Uh, light box, right, on the leaf, on, on some of the events. And this is actually a very unique application, which is actually a decal that's actually, uh, auto, we call this octopus. So I can remove it and stick on any of the plastics or the glass A surface, especially on shops, right, you can do on promotional. And then hang tags, right, this is door, door card, door tags. And then mobile payment, uh, using a special mobile payment card, which is printed on synthetic. And then that's how we say hotel door card using ISPC FRID card also. So all sorts of material, specialty material substrate, it can be printed on an indigo. I want to show you one thing also, how the Queen, Elizabeth Queen, all right? Actually, Pantone created a Pantone chart for her that this is what she wears. She has all the clothes in, in her clothing in all the Pantone different shades a pink of different shade that she has carried, a different blue shade that, that she has it. So this is specially done by Pantone and to celebrate uh, a Queen's birthday when he has all his dresses, yeah. So as we move on to further down here is from plastic cards, right? So plastic cards, bank cards, this is easily been done. Two sheets of PVC plus two layers of lamination, four layers, you embed it together, you punch, you cut, you, 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 you get a plastic card printed. And sometimes, of course, you, you want to do like, uh, like in China, the Mooncake Festival, they, they wanted to do some of the Mooncake Celebration card, which is a memorable card, right? That they can keep for many years on, on that. And then student pass, right? Student pass, you can print that on it, whether it is on a dual core or single core. So I will show you also another one, which is this card here. This is printed on a single 600 micron PVC, right? One, one side printed. And it's for a star pass. Do not need to laminate on both sides. And which is behind is actually blank. In front is actually a star pass on it. Right? And Honda actually use our technology also to print their Honda VIP card, right? Honda, Honda uh, automobile VIP card. And you can see that some hotels are already using our technology to print on the door card also. And, and in fact, actually, every card, they actually run a serial number behind so they can track every piece of, of card they're using. Uh, if, you are, if you look at this, this over here, this card here, right, as I remove two or three of them to show you, is every card is unique. Every card is printed with our HP Smart Stream Mosaic uh, pattern on it. Every card is different. If you want to know more of these cards, you can ask the salesperson to get some of these kits, right, plastic card kits that shows you how beautiful these cards have been done on it. So we have covered um, textile, tags, right, and specialty. Now as we move on to folding cartons, right, in folding cartons, uh, many ways of doing it, whether you are doing corporate gifting, right, and, and especially now in, in this situation, uh, you want to send some gift to your customers uh, to thank them, uh, to keep in touch with them, like this green, uh, tea, Chinese tea in, 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 in China, they used to be a very standard application, but today they're actually a wrap around with, with a box uh, with mosaic pattern, right? So that every client has a different design and it looks more corporate gifting rather than a standard uh, red paper box or whatever it is. Another one is, which is here, a chocolate box, right? Doesn't need to be square, right? Chocolate box, it can be a bag like this. After using it, they can still use it again. 
right? This is chocolate cookies box. And then uh, this is actually uh, done, done in Singapore uh, by customers who actually do corporate gifting, right? He said that every, every end of the year, there's many customers who want to send gifts uh, to, to, to Christmas season, during Christmas season. So what they do is here, they actually allow customers to personalize the name you know, Connie, right? The name Connie here is being personalized, right? And then after that, in the front, inside the box, you know, as Christmas, we celebrate 12 or 13 days of Christmas. Some people say 12 days, some days they say 13 days. So what he do that, he actually worked with 12 or 13 different brands. And each of these box inside has a different gift. Inside this box, you see this inside here has a key from one of the brands. And then we have another box here. We have different things, right? Souvenirs inside this pack. So every of these boxes here has a separate gift. You see separate gift. So the, the, the customers can open up 13 days or 12 days of Christmas. Every day he open up, there's someone give insight for him. So these, these customers actually work with 13 different brands to create this, this gift box. And they sold thousands of these corporate gifting box during Christmas season to them, right? And also the next thing I want to show you also, you know, as, especially during COVID period, people don't go to launch or pubs to drink, right? So Tiger Beer was thinking, how can I increase my sales? He actually start, start launching out something like corporate gifting boxes here. Uh, inside has actually a bottle of beer, and then some play card and some other souvenirs. And he had allowed corporate co corporate company to buy this, and then to send it to the client or the, to the staff. And they can cheers, you know, in, in the Zoom uh, uh, online virtual. Another one, I think you are familiar with Divavali in India. Right, this is a Diwali pack, which is printed in India and during uh, festive season, right? Sweets and candies are put inside. Every box is unique. You can see every box has different design. And uh, this is done on mosaic also. Another one I want to show you also on China, right? China, uh, truffles, truffles chocolate uh, in, in the box here. This is actually not a folding carton kind of application. This is a post uh, folding carton, which is pre-printed on the sheets and then uh, laminated or glue onto, onto the uh, corrugator box, right, to form it. So this is a, a hard uh, corrugator box, and which is overlamped and overprinted. And everyone is different design. This is also done on HP Smart Screen Mosaic. So we talk about folding cartons, right? And now we go to heat transfer. So heat transfers over here, uh, this is also value add application, something that you can do, uh, not just print itself on, on the heat transfer paper, you can do on uh, pillowcase. And you can look at this application here. You are not only selling a t shirt to a customer, your customers, your client, right? You're telling them that you can actually print, right? You can see a t shirt here, this one t shirt. You can print a canvas, a hang, you can hang on the wall as a canvas, posters, right? You can do a pillowcase like this. You can do a mark and a t-shirt. So it's a gift box, not just one item, but four items into a gift box and that your customers can actually order it online with you uh, on these applications. Uh, besides, we call this actually souvenirs, right? Souvenirs applications that we can do. And events application like this, this is coming from events. Uh, maybe you want to do a t-shirt just wear for two, three days. Uh, for event purpose, so, so we can also have solutions on doing that. And beside that, we also have uh, a T-shirt is for longer premium uh, duration of wear, right? That you can wear 100 times, 120 times. And this is printed with silver ink, right? Silver ink on it. And also with invincible ink later part, probably you can see from the video. And, and this on the back part also, this is also printed on uh, uh, invincible ink, right? Invincible yellow some security features, especially nowadays, people want to track whether this T-shirt is original or not. Am I buying an original brand T-shirt? So there's actually a serial number in front here. As you see the later part on the video, you can see that. And last event recently, we did up a hook, right? An event hook, which is actually behind printed. Heat transfer, and then in, in the back of this event, event T-shirts. So today we have covered quite a lot of applications. And uh, thank you, everyone, for, for listening to me. I hand over back to Shim and Gaurav. Shim and Gaurav, thank you very much.
thank you, SN. It's really wonderful. Here we are showing actually the SN showed a lot of different and the interesting application. Now myself and Gorab, we will show to you how we are actually print out the, through the, our HP Indigo solution in here. At the same time, also we will give some more deep dive over each application opportunity, also the finishing process, and then how we are making the, the, this kind of application. Right. Um, yes, perfect. So Shim, what are we gonna really talk about? Edson shared so many beautiful applications. I just wanna hear from you, which are that we're gonna go live into printing and talk about it. Yeah, so in here, in using the, our 15K HD, actually we print out first textile catalog, Okay. Using the, our beautiful, beautiful color. Second, we will print out and show to you our plastic card, how we can print out. At the same time, also, we will show the short video what is the finishing process. And then also, we are showed to you in front of you, we print out uh, promotional gift pack as well. After that, maybe we can go over to the 7K together. Also, okay. we are 7K case, we print out another different application as well. So let's say you're trying to differentiate between some applications which are being printed on a B2 platform and few which we're going to print uh, live on uh, the A3 sure. platform. All right, uh, Shim, why don't we walk towards it? Because Edson has shared a lot of key applications. Mm -hmm. I just want to uh, understand a bit more in detail with you. Yes. All right. So you spoke to me. The, the very first thing about was uh, the Let's talking the, about textile catalog. Okay. Textile. You know, just before you move on, I want to just put a, this is the catalog which we're talking about, right? The it's in yes. which one showed the fashion catalog. Now, this reminds me of my days when I used to stay in a, a place called as Surat in India. Now, mm -hmm. Surat, even though it was called as the Diamond City, but another name for Surat is also the Silk City of India. Okay. The number, the number of cloth mills are mm -hmm. highest in, in Surat itself. Now, imagine what really is the purpose of this fashion catalog which we're talking now, Edson did show this fashion catalog, but if I just open it, every possible way for these each of these clothing brand is to ensure that all these products which they showcase here is matching almost what their exact product looks like. So, which okay. means color is of great importance and significance. Absolutely. All right. Also, it is important for them, they list down each and every single uh, product feature, product name, and that's how really they sell. So, while we are talking, you know, as you could see, it's printing. So for me, before you move on, Shim, we did hear about fashion catalog, but I want you to little bit talk to me. How can we do the color matching, especially when people are moving from offset to digital, in this case on Indigo? Sure, no problem. So as you can see, now we are printing out the uh, textile catalog. As you can see, we are printing out all the different images and then make a good, you know, quality of textile catalog. As I explained by the Corrupt. Actually, most important thing is is how we are do the color matching because this kind of fashion catalog or textile catalog is important thing is how we are exactly make the same color as like actual you know the textile. This could right? actually make and break the business exactly. uh, for a lot of uh, catalog manufacturers. So there is reason you don't worry about it. First of all, we have the good quality. At the same time, also we have the online G7 certification feature with our 15K HD. So through the, this kind of you know, simple online certification, we can guarantee perfect color match. So let me show to the simple video how we can match up the G7 certificate. Sure, absolutely. Imagine a digital press that is self-aware of color precision and accuracy to the most widely used specification by print buyers and brands, G7. Digital printing is getting smarter artificial intelligence or AI, industry 4.0, and IoT are in the headlines and often misunderstood. Imagine a system that is all of these. Imagine a press that can self-calibrate, self-verify, and communicate G7 compliance direct to the print buyer, brand, or QA team for every job within minutes at the push of a button. Imagine a press engineered to be the color expert with the capability to submit G7 qualification requirements directly from the press through an inline measurement system across the internet direct to ID Alliance. This system is the ID Alliance AI Master Calibration System. And we're very excited to announce that HP Indigo is the first company to achieve this certification. 
For more details, visit us at idalliance.org. Wonderful. Yes, so also this is not only one. Also, the, we also have the different type of uh, ink. So there is lesion using the, our different type of special ink. Actually, we can reach the, around 98% of color gamma we can reach out. So this is how we can match up the perfect color. Great, because that was one of my concerns, you know, because in this case, the brand color becomes of significant importance, especially when they're trying to uh, match it. Uh, Shim, you spoke about the plastic cards. Yes. And that's, that's uh, you know, when I was hearing, uh, you know, initial survey, which said, today, nothing which we're going to talk is about ink on paper, right? Uh, and, and then on top of it, how the market, the plastic Correct. card market is going. Talking specifically about India, we are talking uh, a growing economy, a transforming economy because of the manufacturing industries, the infrastructure, and more importantly, the government, the several government updates, uh, the mandates which the government of India has been putting up with regards to welfare scheme. Now, the, uh, one of the very common things is uh, I wanted to showcase. Now, this is, I do not know, you see um, uh, uh, the Aadhaar card, which is appearing on the, on the screen. Now, if I go back to the time when I was staying in India, this is my Aadhaar card, okay? And if it was, it was just printed on paper. So you could see it was printed just top and bottom, as you could see. All I had done was laminated it so I could survive for these many years with just the paper. But this has been transforming. Suddenly, we are talking about government linking their uh, schemes uh, like the Atal Mission Rejuvenation Scheme for uh, Urban Transformation, the Amrut Scheme, or even the National Transport Policy. They are uh, connecting all these with plastic cards, with mm -hmm. smart cards. What it does is, we all know India's population is close to about 1.2 billion. This gives a huge, significant yes. importance. But that's just one aspect. I just wanted to showcase to you, there are things beyond just the, the Aadhaar card or for that matter, the financial cards. Now, these are all of my own cards, which I'm gonna, which I put on display. Now, this is uh, pertaining to uh, my life, but look at the opportunity we are talking. Here, this is uh, just a simple card which says personalized to my name. This is my gym membership card. So, which ensures it kind of tracks the number of workouts and all I do. Here, this one, which says wellness for life is my health card. Now, if you're looking at health card today, it tracks from the, medi from the medicine I took last time to the kind of any um, therapy which I'm going under. And here I'm talking about a petrol card. Okay, this is for the, uh, the vehicle I drive. So what I'm trying to put across is the uh, opportunity in terms of smart cards. And then this is a loyalty card, which I have. So which ensures that I keep going back to the store. So what essentially I'm talking about is the opportunity in terms of how the industry is transforming today is huge. There is a huge potential, whether you're talking gift cards, whether you're talking loyalty cards, you're talking even the health cards in this case, which I showed you. And the very basic, what here is the simple, whether you call it an excess card or you call it my own identity card in my corporate world. Well, this is what, uh, what in terms of, so in terms of opportunity, especially when it comes to India, there is a huge opportunity. It's Absolutely. transforming. There is a huge transform, uh, transformation which is happening and obviously the government working in that direction. But the question comes in and I'm very glued to this question. It sounds fascinating, but sometimes it sounds very difficult. Mm -hmm. I want your help to make it very simpler. But Shim, I have a concern. And sure. one of my concerns with regard to these smart cards also is for few cards, I am okay with them for being because they, are, they, they do not contain my personal information. But then how about security features, which if they, if they could be incorporated on these smart cards? Sure, no problem. So over yeah. to you. Yeah, no problem. As you mentioned in India, particularly also, we have a huge opportunity as you mentioned, not only that kind of finance card, we're just talking about the promotional card and low gift to card, like this kind of thing. So that is legion. One of the key point is the security. A security point of view, no worry about it because our HP Indigo solution can support security features well, such as micro text support. So through the, this kind of uh, uh, micro text, of, text feature, we can do the one kind of simple or level one level of the, the, the security feature as well. Not only that part, also we are mentioned about special ink as well. Also in HP Indigo, we have the, the security related special ink such as invisible ink. So using the invisible ink, actually we can print out the, the, that kind of invisible ink in our plastic card and then under the UV light or under the certain level, you can make a, this kind of thing as well. 
So also the security one of the key factor in the plastic car, but the other thing is also this is all related to the brand, right? So that means it's also very important things how we are match up the perfect color matching in terms of brand color or in terms of other theme of the color. Let's say to a certain extent, we are talking about a bit around the Pantone. Uh... Correct. Okay. There is legion in the color point of view already I mentioned how we are do because we are using the special ink we can reach the 98% of color gamut and also we have the G7 certification. Also, the, the other thing is actually when you print out the, the kind of plastic card, actually we print out a lot of different type of media. But as you can see just now, we print out actually using the, our, the PVC, the substrate, or we can print out this kind of beautiful the, uh, uh, plastic card as well. Also, the, the, not only this kind of you know, thing, also we are using the, our special feature, as I mentioned, we can print out the micro text. Also, we can using the, our special ink, invisible yellow, this kind of the ink we can utilize. So this is how we can capable to do the print out the, the plastic card. But plastic card is actually printing is, as you know, very simple portion. Okay. A lot of our customer homes, oh, HP Indigo good. Maybe your printing machine or HP solution capable to print out on substrate, but I'm little bit want to know how you can support to making the plastic card as well. So that is Legion. Actually, we have a solution partner. So we will show to you what is the whole the process of the, the finishing of a plastic card. Let, let's, let's watch it. Sure. So basically to run the plastic card, uh, we have four modules. Here is the whole function text to really register each ship for uh, pollution. So you, you need to register so that you can place it onto a, a collator in this case. And then this collator will then put all the ship together. Uh, you have your laminate, uh, you have your front and back, you know, and now even in, in between, sometimes you need magnetic strips in this case. So uh, every ship will be collated. In this case here, you can stack it up nicely. Uh, all the ships are now collated and ready for what we call the lamination. So, so this laminate is like a baking uh, oven. We will press them and go through the, the heater to actually uh, laminate all the layers together to a cut. And this last stage is where we do the punch to, to punch out the cuts into individual uh, uh, cuts for, for all the ID cards, member cards, loyalty cards, and gift cards. So this is a cut punch and we will punch it out uh, nicely. Uh, for, for each cell. Okay, very, very simple process. And then we have a, a partner's Oasis here. We are very specialized on all this um, for uh, the very niche cut printers or for even uh, small printers that, that need to do cut printing. Thank you. Thank you. So, as you can see, also we have a solution partner to do make a, this kind of you know finishing as well. So that is legit. We can provide from new from the pre-printed pre-printed process and then printing and then finishing area as well. This is how we can support the plastic business, plastic so, business. So we talk about two two different altogether different applications, Shim. I, I know you were addressing a lot of concerns, but the fact that you're printing on the on the same press. Now the third important vertical which I probably mm -hmm. want to move is we were talking about the light packaging. Now it's been used in a very different manner. You could call it light packaging, you could call it corporate gifting, gift boxes. But just to bring you yesterday. I was reading a very interesting article which says India's uh, just the gift, the corporate gift markets is about 12,000 crores. Wow. Now, 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 if I, you know, sometimes putting that into numbers is also very, dif uh, you know, very difficult. But, you know, what it also said with COVID 19, most of these gifting companies that turned themselves into solution providers than just a product provider, which means Absolutely. they. You know, even the corporate gifting became so important that they started uh, the, these gift box as perhaps having immunity, boosting teas, uh, personalized masks, Absolutely. hand sanitizers. So in short, the, uh, the industry continued to grow, spe specifically when we, talk, uh, we were talking about the gift boxes. But coming from India, okay, I was born, brought up in India. One thing which we cannot forget is when, when our roots go back to the, the festivals, which we have, uh, we recently cele uh, celebrated uh, Pongal down south. You know, uh, there are different festivals at different uh, point in time. And most important is the number of weddings which happens in India. We, on an average, we have about 10 million weddings in India. Shim, 
I know you do not, but you've worked with me a lot. So let me test. Let me just guess. Let, let's see. Do you know any tradition around uh, Indian weddings? Mm, yes, I know a little bit. No, uh, not apart from apart from the beautiful girls you tell me about. No, the tradition I'm talking <laughs> about. Traditional, actually, it take uh, two more than three or four day, and there are a lot of invitation. Also, I heard sometimes sometimes also give some gift with the, some box. A lot of uh, okay, things. okay, Shim. Okay, you know, you know a bit. Yes. So coming to that part, you know, when when we talk about even you know invitation for a wedding, you know, they they usually tend to go in with boxes. Now it could be sweet boxes, it could be boxes which yes. could be you know a small little gifts. But the the traditional culture values for us is that the invitation always goes along with certain kind of gifts. Mm -hmm. And when we are talking about these boxes, obviously you cannot print them on a on a substrate which is uh, very light. You know, you want Just to print them something thick. Very new, yeah. because this is my wedding, right? Yeah, yeah. You know that that is where we are talking about boxes now. So all of a sudden, now I want to shift you from all your uh, inks and the the focus towards security to say, can you uh, tell me how we could do a little bit around media? Sure. Why don't we print some jobs as yeah, well? Yeah, so the, can you print something? So th that is exactly, so as you mentioned, the, in, the, in India specifically, let's talk about wedding. It's very, very special. So that is religion. When, I'm, when we make a, that kind of invitation or a box, we want to make a special, customize, using the very special substrate. So that is religion. Today, we will print out this kind of metallized uh, substrate board. We will print out, as you can see. So this is a metallized the substrate. So also we will using the different type of ink in order to uh, get the catch up the eye attention. As you can see now we are print out. So we will show to you how we can make it. As you can see, this is using the our metallized board we can print out because our HP Indigo 15K, we have a capability to print out different type of substrate such as metallized uh, substrate. Also we can print out the color board also, we can print out the, the uh, black color media. So a lot of different type of media you can print out. Also at the same time, as you can see the, in here, using the, our different type of ink, we can print out the more eye-catching application as well. So let me show to you what we are pre currently print out. Okay, so here is a keep printing out. This one actually, this one actually we are using the metallized both and then using the our premium white ink, we can make a, this kind of very very attractive of the the, the uh, gift box as well. Also in here, what I want to show to you, actually we print out also metallized board, but actually each gift box all different emits. We are using the our smart stream technology we call collage. Using the collage, actually each gift box actually different size of a fish, you see, different number of fish you can see. So there is legion, if we are creating one design file and then using the, our collage, actually we can make all the customized, all different type of the, the gift box you can make it. Not only this one, also as I mentioned to the ink here, also we are using the metallized board, but actually we are using the, the, the our percent pink. So that is legion. When you are make a, this kind of promotional gift box or a, a corporate gift box, or whatever, we can make a very very eye catching or a attractive the, the gift box. So this is the beauty of HP Indigo. How we can manage it or how we can fulfill the, this kind of uh, special application. Okay. So this is very quickly we are go over how we can the, the handle the, this kind of special application, new application through the, our B2 format 15K HD. So now uh, I will move to the 7K, our A3 format, and then talking about also different type of application. Karab, you are in there? Yes, absolutely, Shim. Uh, so wonderful, Shim, you know, we, we heard about uh, different applications uh, around uh, the 15K on our B2 platform. Now you wanted to pick up a, a little bit around the heat transfer. You, what you would, you've been doing a quick walk, uh, all right? Good to see you back, Shim. Now let's talk about uh, the heat transfer application. Now we did hear about the textile, right? Yeah. Uh, the textile market of India. Do you know heat transfer? Uh, the the textile market overall is one of the largest markets mm -hmm. in Asia, and within Asia, India is one of the premium markets. And yes. Why? Because of the the ease of use and also the expression 
of uh, you could say the expression of freedom today with the help of uh, a lot of online uh, and the offline retail being available a lot of people wanting to kind of experiment with the uh, the customized printing of t-shirts absolutely but heat transfer is just not uh, related to t-shirts we've spoken about uh, spoken about souvenirs Right, yep. and what uh, we wanted to show to the to our audience here is today how we can print these jobs, the heat transfer jobs. Sure. Into, into what is what are the different interesting aspects which we can bring around heat transfer? Sure. So when we are talking about this kind of heat transfer application, why we are talking about why what is our benefit of HP Indigo? Actually, the the I can mention about two things big, differently. One, actually, using the our HP Indigo technology, actually we can print the two different type of heat transfer application. One, as you mentioned, is very short term news. The corporation give or event purpose. We are make it uh, very simply, and then using the you know the two days or three days as the the event. So later on, we will show to you how we are make it. So we call this kind of thing is the you know from the print and cut promotional heat transfer. So without any six screen process, we are just make it. The process why is very simple. Just load the certified media and then print it out from the, our 7K platform. And then we do the heat transfer. So later on, we will show to you. Second thing is actually the, also we can fulfill the long-term news purpose, more premium t-shirt as like one you can see over here. This is good thing is actually we, the, the process why is a little bit different. Same, we are print out the certified media through the 7K. After that, we need a silk screen process. After silk screen process, actually, we can you know, make a, this kind of heat transfer application because when you are talking about this kind of long-term news, so-called hybrid industrial heat, trans heat transfer application case, actually, they require more, uh, at least the 50 times wash washable the T-shirt, right? So there is a reason this kind of the uh, the standard require, we need a silk, the silk screen, the process. Also, we our 7K can support the, this one. Not only that kind of part, actually using the, also our special ink, such as the invisible ink. Actually in here, if we are the, under the light, we, we, we did not see anything, but under the you know, UV light, or we can put the torch, as you can see in the, the screen, actually hidden image we can print out using the, our invisible ink. Also, not only that kind of hidden image, as mentioned by the SN just before, also we can print out hidden serial number of these t-shirts. That means this is a real t-shirt. What so we are printing exactly what we have been referring to. A lot of people in India is wanting to, you know, have this custom printed apparel. Now, are you gonna show me something exciting to uh, Shim with regards to heat transfer? Sure, no problem. So the the heat transfer. Let me show to you how we are make a t-shirt, and then sure. actual thing. Okay. Yeah. Let's... So can you? Can you show to the, the how we are make it actually? Let, let's let's do one thing. Let's uh, take the camera a little closer. Yeah. Okay. So today the, we are make uh, the very as I mentioned promotional T-shirt. Actually, this is the for example company or a brand they have a certain event. Actually, they can make uh, this kind of event related T-shirt. Today we are using the new code. Actually, we print out this kind of, you know, applicate the image through the, our 7K using the certified media. Today, the, this is using the, our premium white and then also using the, our silver ink. Actually, we can make a, this kind of gold color effect and then a little bit different type of metallic uh, effect as well. So after we print out, we put the, our the T-shirts. The so we will uh, make uh, the T-shirts in front of you. But when we are make this kind of heat transfer the T-shirt, actually it depends on the, the material or garment. Actually, we are using the two different type of media. So today we are using the white color T-shirt. So that is legend, the, the temperature and the pressure time is a little bit different. Temperature itself is around 175 or 180. And then it take around 27 or 25 seconds. After that, we can make this kind of T-shirts. Okay, so maybe, okay, now you can see. So now it's remain the five seconds. So we are print out, as I mentioned, we are cutting the, the image and then transport to the, our T-shirt. As you can see, come to here, Alex. So we are making T-shirt and the heat transfer and then peel off the, the cover. And then we can make a, this kind of T-shirt, as you can see. So. This is, this is one kind of promotional, and then we are using the, our silver ink. That is legit. We can make a, this kind of a gold color. Also, we can make a, this kind of metallized color as well. Okay. Uh, you must be thinking, what am I searching for? What we are looking for. 
No, I was looking if there are any hang tags there. Oh, hang tag. It's good. Good topic. So that is legion. Actually, when you are talking about hang tag opportunity and the textile, actually, this is what we are prepared. When you are making this kind of t-shirts, actually, we have to consider how we are selling this t-shirt. When you are selling the t-shirts, actually, also, we need the hang tag. Right? So Actually, you here. know, when, when you're talking, this makes me remember a very interesting thing around hand tags. What was the basic purpose, do you think, uh, hand tags were really useful? Mm, in form of the disco material and then also the, the one kind of customer communication? Ex exactly. That's the, it. The, the basic, the basic uh, for hand tags was just for communication purpose. But down the line, is it really now, are hand tags really being used only for communication purpose? The answer is actually no. A oh, lot no. of, yes, a lot of customers are using this opportunity mm -hmm. to ensure these hand tags are used as a way of branding. Also, what we figured more specifically, you know, I'm talking about India where a lot of brand owners are approaching these hand tag manufacturers mm -hmm. to be able to design a lot of interesting hand tags. One, to gain attention. Of course, being able to communicate, which is very important, sure. but then also it acts or it enables as a sales, uh, you know, as a salesperson for them, because you're able to do it with a very eye catchy, even die cut labels. Now, for example, earlier, you know, mm -hmm. even if I go back to the t-shirt, which you were showing me, mm -hmm. I'm not very, uh, you know, uh, it's to me, to me from far, it looked a very simple label till I actually said, now, if it's a jeans fair, what I've done this uh, simple die cut label mm -hmm. it just it has all the product information but at the same time if we want if i want to communicate and with in terms with the brand i can do it so hand tax has become even more critical okay so why are you talking about the the one actually we already print out the same text so can you print one more time actually why uh, can you move on yes. the, the 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 camera to over here actually why our 7K or our HP Indigo is suitable for this kind of hang tag. Actually, hang tag case, as you explained by the, the Rob, actually, we have to co communicate also the, uh, the additional information as well. But most important thing is also we need to do this kind of, you know, the, 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 the duplex printing out. So also hang tag case, usually we are using the very thick substrate. So 7K case, actually, uh, this media also actually the, 550 the, the micron thickness. So there is legion, our 7K also can support up to the 550 micron. So there is legion is really suitable for hang tag application. And then also hang tag application also most important is color matching as well. So there yes. is legion 7K also, we have the different type of special ink and then we can match up, okay? So the other thing is actually, the, I want to talking about different type of hang tag, okay? So now we are talking about this kind of, you know, the, the paper hang tag or plastic hang tag, but as you mentioned, now hang tag purpose is different. Also driving the sales activity and the marketing activity, marketing communication. So there is religion. I want to show to you a little bit more interesting hang tag printed on RFID uh, media. Actually, uh, a lady essential to this one, as you can see in the screen, actually using the RFID technology and then print on the, our, our HP Indigo solution. Actually, even you are make a, this kind of hang tag, just using the my mobile, just contact, and then catch up to all this kind of detailed information. Also through the, this kind of application, as you mentioned, this hang tag beyond the communication. That mean also they do the marketing campaign and then direct, you know, I'm, communication. Actually, I'm, I'm actually not surprised. In fact, this comes as a, you know, uh, what kind of innovations have gone on even to our uh, our field of printing, how people are being able, from what we thought it's just a simple hand tag exactly. and where people would fight for the prices, I would say. Today, they are able to communicate. It uses as a sales tool uh, for mm -hmm. that matter. Absolutely. Uh, again, uh, brilliant, fantastic, Shim. I, I, I think quite fascinated and especially when I'm looking at this, I'm buying a product of jeans and now <laughs> I could see even it's a different color of the jeans for Correct. that matter. Yes. Wonderful. So, uh, uh, Shim, uh, you know, one, one, probably the other aspect is mm. what we are looking at is now speciality. And mm -hmm. when we're talking speciality, uh, I know you're already picking up your, you know, you get super excited when we talk uh, speciality, but I want you to focus a little bit around mm -hmm. the stickers. Okay. And we call it cut sheet labels. We call it stickers. I, I really want to understand how is it that we, you know, we could support on this aspect. I do see a lot of them being printed here. Sure. So actually, the lady, this kit is uh, explained by the SM, but as you mentioned, we are uh, special, uh, specifically talking about this kind of cut label. Or Can I take it closer if you don't? Cut yeah. 
label or a cut sticker. Actually, our 7K is really, really good solution for print out this kind of application because our 7K have the good capability to manage this kind of you know, the, uh, the substrate as well. So also when you are talking about this kind of, you know, the sticker, actually most important thing is how we are make this kind of customized information, not Absolutely. only the static data, because we are talking about different type of application, promotional application. So they mean all require this kind of customized. So that is legion using the digital technology. We can do this kind of thing. Also we can print out, also we can do the die cut as well. Interesting on the die cut part, but before I move towards mm -hmm. that side, uh, these looks like more like the, when I would be back in the school days, more of a school stickers, but I also believe, uh, you know, we can do a cut uh, labels, which could be used like inside sure. of the clothing, which we use, exactly. right? Considering India is such a huge textile market, I think that becomes also a significant exactly. opportunity. Sure. Great. I, I think more from uh, from an applications, uh, more from applications point of view, this is what we had to bring you from what you saw uh, with Edson describing with where does the market opportunity lies. Now, uh, Shim, I probably I want to uh, clear uh, one little aspect where you've been talking a little bit around the 15K and the 7K. Let's just clarify 15K is the product of our uh, Indigo Presses, which is the B2 platform, mm -hmm. and 7K is the, uh, uh, is the uh, name of our A3 uh, press, right? Just, just so that people exactly. do not confuse between our, our no terminology. Problem. No problem. All right, with this, I, I think we hand it uh, back to uh, Sri Ram. Thank you, COE team. Uh, I'm sure our audience is excited with the many possibilities that you showcased. And we've had uh, some questions flowing in too. Uh, also importantly, the HP team will be happy to send you some samples of what you saw. Please reach out to them and uh, they will send it across to you. So in terms of questions, uh, let me start with this question to you, Ashok. Are you ready? Uh, can we move on to the questions, Ashok? Absolutely, Shiram. <clears throat> Great. So this one's uh, from our audience, uh, Raghu, and he wants to know if he can print non-terrible hang tags on the HP Indigo. Okay. So in short answer is definitely yes. And uh, I'll just give you a little more uh, understanding of the different media that actually Indigo can print. <clears throat> so we have two categories of the media that we always divide it. One is a paper-based. So we can definitely print on a paper-based media, but outside the paper base, which comes under the synthetic, we can actually print uh, many synthetics, which includes PVC, PET, uh, polycarbonate, and many other different kind of uh, uh, laminates as well. So to answer, uh, you know, the, not only to the audience here, but anything, if you have a, any special application on a special media, please come back to us. If we have a media available, we'll give it to you offhand. If not, we will test the media and we'll give you the end-to-end -end solution for that. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, we have another question, this time from Ramu. Uh, he says, uh, UIDAI, uh, this is about Aadhaar uh, specifically, Ashok. So he says, uh, UIDAI uh, says, we strongly discourage the use of PVC Aadhaar copies from the open market as they do not carry any security features. The UIDI website also says, I can get my Aadhaar PVC by paying 50 rupees, uh, including, inclusive of GST. So the yeah. question he asks is, how does this work for a HP vendor with an Indigo to deliver a single card, et cetera? How do you deliver the security features at such a low cost? Yeah. So I'll 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 put a you know slightly different perspective on the whole project of uh, I will not name this one particular project but there are many projects which is uh, run by you know either the Indian government or the private institutions into the field today. Say at the end of the day uh, the we should incorporate many of the security features into the plastic card application because at the end of the day uh, this. Uh, you know, this carries a lot of sensitive information, which should not be going out to, uh, you know, somebody who can misuse it. So there are a lot of security features which is available. And whenever there is some kind of, a, you know, in a, in a private institution, we can, uh, we can actually go back to the institution and tell them the values which outrightly, you know, outweighs the cost which is attached with it. But when it comes to, uh, you know, it comes to Aadhaar card and similar kind of an application, believe me, 50 rupees is a super duper price, right? If you ask me 50 rupees as a price, it's a super duper okay. price. 
And the way we can do it, Sridham and uh, 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 Ramu, is that we don't do it one card at a time. You know, there is there is kind of an accumulation of a card on a on a you know half a day basis, one a day basis, two a day basis, which accumulates into one bulk of a job, which is printed uh, you know in one go, and we can do all those in incorporation of security features into it. So to answer Ramu. This is quite possible. 50 rupees is a very good value, and we are happy to do it. If anybody has an inquiry, please contact us. Thank you. Got it, uh, Ashok. Yeah. Thanks. I have a few more questions. So uh, I'll start with it. Will 2022 see a digital print sweet spot for HP? Any experience center in India? Anything that you can share on that front, uh, Ashok? Yes. Uh, see, I I always see 2022 as a carry forward of, you know, what is really happened in the last two years. And, you know, in the beginning of my presentation, I talked about uh, this e-commerce, which is changing the playground for all the brands, which is selling their product and services. Now, if I have to cater to those brands, I have to be, you know, aligned with them to their requirements. So to answer your question, you know, I have to make sure that, you know, my infrastructure should support the brand needs today in terms of a print communication and that can come into different uh, you know shapes and forms we are happy to do the print uh, you know we call it as a pocs of many of the you know new designs or technologies into it we have a experience center in chennai right we call it as an india coe and definitely if anyone who wants to get any kind of project uh, you know POCs of a proof of concept, please get back to us and we can definitely do a larger experience of those applications to them in a print form. Okay. There, there is an audience question. Uh, does Indigo have any RFID printing capabilities or is it necessary to do by screen printing, etc.? Right. So RFID, normally there are two ways the RFID is done, Shriram. The first RFID is that you can actually print on a B2 sheet. We call it as a sleeve. We can print on a B2 sheet and then there is a sandwich of an RFID labels between the two sheets, right? So this is the this is a conventional way of doing it, which means you need actually a larger volume to print on RFIDs. Now, the second one, which is to address to the short-run market, we have a vendor which is available with us, which is ISPC. And ISPC actually gives you a pre-embedded sheet to us. So this is, you know, 20 ups of a, uh, of a A3 sheets, because, which we can print on 7K. And then there is a tabletop kind of, a, you know, coding device, which comes along with it, which encode all the information into it. And within five minutes, actually the RFID is ready to supply. So we are happy to help, uh, you know, this gentleman who have this, question to us and it's give them okay for you uh, sure, the definitely we'll get in touch with Tushar. <laughs> yeah all right so uh, uh, my next question to you is ashok what would you say is the average break even point for a hp indigo press yeah no that's a that's a quite an interesting question shiram we always uh, talk about two things when it comes to printing we always talk about two things one is what is the cost of print and what is the break even into it and believe me uh, you know break even point is a very very subjective term right uh, when it comes to break even if i take the holistic cost of a complete operation of a shop floor right which includes right from uh, you know, a manpower to facility to infrastructure to the wastages, inefficiencies, and deliveries time into it. Everything coming into picture, we are seeing somewhere around 350 to 750, right, as a break-even range. Now, this break-even range it will actually vary from uh, you know the usage of a paper. The more expensive paper which is being used for one particular application, which means that your break-even volume will actually go high. In some of the expensive paper, we have seen 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 sheet also as a break-even point. Now, my, my suggestion here is to not look forward for a break-even point, but to see where the market is actually moving from conventional to digital with the help of a versioning and a mass customization, right? This is where, you know, if there is a variable information which is embedded into a product for any reason, right? Any length, any length today is a short run for uh, digital or it can be only done on a digital part of it, right? So this is this is where I'll, I'll put my perspective here. Add okay. value to the document, uh, Shiram, right? Okay. That's where we can fetch more price from the customer. Got it, got it. Thanks, Ashok. Um, I should ask you about this uh, supply chain uh, supply chain cr crisis that we've been talk, uh, hearing about for the past few months. How resilient has the HP supply chain been? Sure. 
uh, Chair, you know, uh, I would appreciate the the supply chain team that we have. You know, we are uh, we have a global supply chain team, which is which is really working for last many years. Being I say, HP Indigo is one of the business that HP works into. We have a larger you know community of a business with a large product portfolios, and our supply chain takes care of every product which is being sold by uh, under the big brand of an HP. And with all those innovations and you know the methodologies and tools which is opted inside the HP till date. We are actually happy to announce that we have never come any shortage of any of the material in our supply chain. Yes, we are impacted by uh, you know the supply chain disruption in terms of our cost and you know the logistics and uh, other component of a cost into it. But in terms of the availability of material and supply, absolutely we are intact. That's great to hear, uh, Ashok. Uh, I have another question. What sort of vendor and production tool strategy you think is needed? for 2022 and how should a print firm be prepared? Yeah, so in this, uh, you know, looking at the interest of time, I would put it a very simple word here is automation. Automation in your shop floor, automation in your go-to market, which is nothing but, you know, your, your, your workflow environment, and and your go to market, which is web to print. I think these two are something which every printer should look forward to. Shira. Okay, okay. So my last question, uh, Ashok, We've seen a lot of shifts uh, in the la in the past twenty four months. Do you see any of them becoming permanent? And what do you see as the new normal for a commercial commercial print company? Right. Uh, so first of all, you know, it will be it will be premature for me to comment on to the buying behavior of a consumer whether it is going to stay there for a long time or we see some kind of you know movement from here and there. But one thing that I can tell you here is the convenience, uh, Shilam. If okay. a consumer gets a convenience, obviously he would love to stay with it. And whatever is happening in the industry today is moving towards the con convenience of the consumer. That's where we see this permanence uh, of few of the buying habits will not change and which will definitely have a larger impact on to PSP in terms of, uh, you know, uh, the deliveries uh, to the brand uh, from speed to market to short run to, you know, data driven marketing. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you so much, Ashok. Uh, with that, I think uh, it's time for us to say goodbye. Uh, wonderful sharing. Uh, I must compliment the HP team at Singapore. They have taken the webinar format to the next level. Congratulations, guys. One of my biggest takeaway from the past 60 minutes has been the trust quotient around print. I was looking at the Edelman's 2022 Global Trust Survey, which was published yesterday. It says social media has experienced the sharpest decline in trust, leaving only 37% of the public across the world saying they would trust social media. The point is, in this age of smartphones and laptops and search engines, print has a high trust quotient. And that is something all of us must not forget. As Ashok shared with us, print is still pretty robust. And key segments like plastic cards, hang tags, heat transfer market, gift boxes, sheet fed labels, shows the almost ubiquitous reach of brands across the population. Thank you, everyone. The HP team, my colleagues, our uh, young digital editor, Shaman Alexander, she has been tweeting live. And my colleague, Sanjeev, who planned this webinar along with the HP team, Nazir, uh, our IT head and his team, plus delegates who attended this session. Do subscribe to Print Week so that you can know more about the next knowledge sharing uh, webinar as always. Stay safe, stay healthy, and maintain COVID protocol at all times. Goodbye, everyone. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Thank everyone. Bye-bye, everyone from Singapore. Bye-bye.